Many would consider worms to be mere pests. Even one look at them would make some people squirm. But to David Ellery, the humble earthworm is the lifeblood of sunburst biotechnologies. The company is at the forefront of promoting large-scale vermiculture, a process that takes organic waste and turns it into a high-grade fertilizer known as vermicast. As David Ellery explains, this is all possible by utilizing what earthworms do best. Sunburst takes what is a billion-year-old process. The earthworm itself is a, is a um, very old creature um, and uh, uses 21st century engineering to harness that process to recycle organic waste into an organic fertilizer. The process that, 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 that we use is designed specifically for organic waste. And organic waste is a, is a problem worldwide. Um, but in cities like Hong Kong, um, it's a bigger problem because there is a, a dense population in a small area. So therefore there's a lot of pressure put on conventional disposal in landfill. Um, so what the Sunburst process does is assists to alleviate or relieve some of that pressure by taking that um, waste out of the landfill system and recovering it for reuse as a high-grade reusable product. Okay, so uh, perhaps the easiest way to understand uh, the, the stages from waste coming into to the uh, end fertiliser product is, is through this test tube demonstration unit that we have. There's an example of, uh, of organic waste as it comes into a sunburst facility. In our process we use a, a, a water waste mixture, so the, uh, the end result of, uh, of, of blending all of our wastes together is a pulp type material, a mixture of water and very finely ground waste. Following that process we extract the water and we end up with a, uh, a solid type matter there that is the beginnings of the worm food, the commencement of the, of the, of the actual vermiculture process. So what we're doing in these first two stages is preparing uh, the food for the worms to consume. Following that, the material is, is allowed to uh, um, sit in the natural environment for, uh, for a period of approximately 10 days. This helps the material break down and again becomes ready for worm food. And then the material is fed to the worms. Once the worms have processed the material or the waste, they produce a very, very rich, highly concentrated fertiliser base, which is called vermicast. And that's what that material is an example of that material there. Sunburst then takes that base material and mixes it with other organic products to produce a range of different high grade organic fertilisers for different uses. So that very quickly and simply is the sunburst process. Regions in Asia have a, uh, a more urgent problem in terms of population and small space. What we do uh, is ideally suited to those circumstances, so uh, Sunburst's plans are definitely to, uh, to expand from Hong Kong, using Hong Kong as its base, um, with, uh, with particular interest being shown in Singapore, uh, mainland China, um, Malaysia. There are uh, just some of the areas that, or some of the countries that we're talking to at the moment. For the South China Morning Post, this is Edwin Lee.